let's face it, sometimes it's just too darn hot to hike in the middle of summer. And if you live down south, you know those afternoon thunderstorms are coming, ready or not. I decided not to let the rain stop me from having fun on this trip and went out hiking anyway. But hey, the sun came back out so it was time for some campsite cocktails and dinner cooked over the fire. This little cabin in the woods was the perfect spot to watch the sunset and enjoy a good fire. Hey there guys, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and today I have traded in my normal tent to a cabin down in North Carolina. This is cabin number two and the one on the left is cabin number one. Nice new cabins. Super clean, nice Adirondack chairs, and they already have the air condition on for us. Uh oh, hold on, gotta remember my code. Oh, it stayed open. But if it looks like it smells like pine, it does. Nice and bright in here, queen size bed ceiling fan that's the big ac unit a nice farm door and the next room are two bunk beds on that side nice little table and two bunk beds on this side we won't be using these bunk beds except for maybe a place to put our stuff but nice little table or outside so yeah that's what the cabin looks like Sunny one minute and then a thunderstorm popped up fast with lightning and even hail. I am down at Raven Rock State Park down in the central part of North Carolina. And I think this is a newer state park for North Carolina. Um, anyway, it's south southwest of Raleigh. And I'm gonna stay in the cabin for two nights and hike all the trails and the trails all run along the Cape Fear River. So I'm gonna go down and check that out. So it should be a fun weekend. All right, time to go on my first hike. Hey buddy. Hi. You like pets? Oh, I love donkeys. And there's a horse right here too. Oh, you're so sweet. So this is probably not the smartest idea that I've ever had, hiking down to the Cape Fear River when it is thundering and the skies are looking dark and the wind is picking up, but I'm not one to sit around in a cabin. So if anything, Jay Bird and I can make a run for it back if we need to with the river at point nine down here. Well, starting to rain, <laughs> but the trees are kind of like nature's umbrella, like Jay Bird just said. So, we'll see if we get drenched, we get drenched. That's a big video. We've got tons of clothes with us because we're car camping. So, yeah, I'm determined to make it down here to the river. Sloppy wet trail from where it rained with the first thunderstorm when we first arrived. Can y'all hear the thunder? <laughs> I 
I used to have a bun. Now it's a flat pancake. Oh. That's that song singing in the rain. And it's uphill on the way back. <laughs> back from getting everything all dried off. Finally, it's gonna take a hot minute for all of that stuff to dry out. Anyway, I thought I would show you guys what cocktail we're making tonight and what we are having for dinner. So let me flip this around and I'll show you. Our cocktail tonight is called Jane's Addiction and you start off with some blueberry vodka, club soda, simple syrup, and lemon juice. And you muddle up some fresh blueberries and we're gonna make some big boys in these mason jars. And then we are going to snack on some Vidalia onion peanuts. And then we're gonna have a salad with baby greens with this dressing that I found recently that I love. It's a poppy seed dressing. And then I'm going to make some Brie Granny Smith grilled cheeses on sourdough and a little bit of sweetness. I'm gonna add some raspberry jelly. Yummy. There you go, that's Jane's addiction. It's awesome. Cheers. cheese is super creamy and the outside part is pretty bitter which is why it pairs so great with the sweetness of the raspberry jam the seedless raspberry jam and then the tartness of the apple and then that little bit of bitterness of the sourdough Right, that's what it looks like. The salad with the poppy seed dressing and the grilled cheese with brie and apple. It's messy, but it is so yummy good. just cleaned up from dinner and my hair is still wet from being drenched today all of her clothes still haven't dried out but they'll dry out not a big deal we've got plenty of clothes um, but I'm excited tomorrow to go check out um, some more of the trails I'm scratching because the mosquitoes I mean you're out in the woods the mosquitoes are gonna come out anyway guys I'll see you in the morning
good morning everybody i am deep in the woods in the a.m hours to try to beat the heat but i'm already drenched i mean it is the end of july and temperatures are supposed to be up to 99 degrees today so um, i sprayed myself in the eye with bug spray so not feeling too great for that uh, about that um it's pretty buggy um, I'm being mindful of snakes because in Virginia we have the rattlesnake and the copperhead, but here in North Carolina, in this particular central part of the state, we have the cottonmouth. So watching out for those guys. And I'm about to go bushwhack because I see some incredible mushrooms that I'm going to show you. This part of the forest here is loaded with so many different kinds of mushrooms. Anyway, let me go see if I can make it over there to show you these mushrooms on this tree. Hey guys. Didn't go very far on this hike. It is just oppressive, this heat. Oh, southern humidity is no joke. So, I think it's about 1.30. I think I'm going to go take it easy at the cabin and try to go out maybe this afternoon. Because, especially being out here solo, not a very good thing to get overheated when nobody else is around. So, gotta use your noggin and be safe out in these woods. After I was finally able to cool down, I decided to have some lunch, some leftover salad from last night's dinner with some blueberries on top, and a big hunk of that sourdough bread with the leftover brie cheese. It is entirely too hot to hike. Feels like temperatures right now are 101 degrees. So, Jaybird and I are going to go explore the town nearby to have something to do instead of sitting in the cabin. So, we're off. We went into the town of Lillington and found this outfitter with all of these tubes and cooler tubes, kayaks, floats, you name it. They had it all. And they were right down on the Cape Fear River, which was just calm and beautiful. Hey there guys, so I didn't video very much yesterday. The heat and humidity were just so high. It was just too hot to hike, so we had to come up with a plan B. So we went down to the little town closest to where the state park is. I'll put the name of it. I think it's Lillington, something like that. And that's where the kayaks and inner tubes were to float down the uh, Cape River that you could um, rent. Then we went and had margaritas, and Jaybird had a mojito at a Mexican restaurant and had dinner there, and then we came back. Let's see, then we lit a campfire, but um, my throat started hurting so bad. Um, I think because both people on both sides of us that were here were also having a fire, and I think something in the wood that they were burning was just irritating the back of my nose and my throat. It was just burning so bad. And I was coughing, so I didn't feel great. Um, and that's the realness of being out here in the woods. I mean, you can feel like crap out here just as well as you can feel like crap at home. So anyway, I couldn't really sleep. Um, anyway, we got up and this morning we have packed up and we are about to head home um, up north to Virginia. Um, 
and say so long to our North Carolina trip. Um, I hope you guys got some ideas maybe of what I eat, um, campfire cooking or camping food of what I bring along and eat um, for these trips. Anyway, thank you guys so much for following along with this video and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, see you later.